As Ara's prompt was robots last time, I am going to make this little robot. And first of all, I am taking a block of grey clay and making the tummy of him. Then I have this cutter and that is actually from a leather set and that have the right size for the feet of this little boy so I'm going to use that. I also have a square cutter that is uh, the half of the feet and I'm going to make three of these one for the neckline and two for the feet. I use bacon bond to glue the pieces together. Here I'm putting a tiny bit of bacon bond on the top of the tummy for connecting the neckline. Now I'm going to cut out four tinier squares and that is for the legs and I'm using the big one as the knee. I have a tiny bit of bacon bond here on my work surface but is making it easier for me to reach it when I need it for connecting the parts. So the legs are all connected and I glue one of these legs to the tiny body of my robot and the other one I'm going to glue on later. I'm going to work with the arms now and for that I make four squares and two small balls to connect the squares. I'm using pick and bond and I'm sandwiching one of the small balls between two of these squares. So I end up with two pieces with a square on top, a ball in the middle and a square on the bottom. Then I'm going to work on the hands and for that I cut out two squares and two tiny pieces. Using a tiny bit of bacon bond I'm going to glue the small piece on the bigger piece and I'm going to mirror them so I have two small hands. Here I'm cutting out the head for the robot, so I'm again using a block of clay and then just cutting it out in the shape I want it. I rolled out a piece of clay in the thinnest setting on my pasta machine and I cut out a few details for the face, like the mouth that you are seeing me place here and two small eyes. Then I rolled out a very thin piece of black clay on my pasta machine and I used that for a tiny dot in the eye. After the clay was cooled down, I made ready for a few lamps on the chest of my little robot. So here I'm putting on some bacon bond to make them stick. Then I take some red clay that I rolled out really thin and make a few buttons or lights of that. I also used a tiny bit of green for this decoration, but you can do this as you want to. 
Then I'm using a bit of bacon bond to connect the leg where I want it to sit. Then using a tiny bit of bacon bond, I glue the hands to the arms. I place the little robot on a mold, this way he can sit upright. And glue the head on. And again with a little bacon bond, I place his arms where I want them to go. And you may have to rest them here and there to make sure they stay in place while baking. You could also use a glue for this, but I chose to use bacon bond. Now he is almost done. I take a bit of an airbrush thinner and a tiny bit of black acrylic paint and mix the two parts together. I'm making this as a wash to make my little robot look older than he is. Keep painting him and drying him off until you like the result of it. I'm using a tiny nail art drill to drill a tiny hole in his head so I can put in a tiny piece of a flower wire as his antenna. Cut the little wire off in the wished length for the antenna. Then I just glue it in place with a little T8000. That's all there is to this little craft of a little robot. You can make it just like you want to, so this is my version. Happy crafting! <laughs>